I'm blue, dabo dee dabo die. And you could be blue too, or yellow, or green, or red. Let me show you how. But before we begin, I want to give proper credit to Dr. Meteor. He is the person that figured out this method and created the website that we will be using. And if you have any doubts, Frostbite has been responding to this and even somewhat assisting in the process. So this currently seems to be at least somewhat CIG allowed. I'm going to walk you through this process as if you've never created your character before. Since I have created my character, I will need to go to Persistent Universe and then Character Customization at the bottom. Go ahead and build your character as you normally would. At this point, before you hit accept, you want to select the load and save icon first. You would give it a name and then select save. Since I've done this already, my character is saved here. Selecting save will create a new folder within Star Citizen on your computer. For me, the file path for this folder is here. If YouTube allows it, I will add this location to the description of the video down below. Navigating to that folder, you will find your saved character. It will have a .chf at the end. Open up a web browser and navigate to the website starchar.app. It's a pretty bare bones looking website. Once you're there, click on the upload CHF button at the top right of the screen. This will generate a pop-up window that will allow you to navigate to where your character file is located. Once there, select the file to upload. Now that you have imported your character, the website will populate options that you can modify. Automatically, the colors are locked. That means anything you change to the skin color will also be mimicked across the board for symmetry. If you do not like that, go ahead and deselect the lock. This will allow you to modify each the head, the limb, and the torso independently from each other. I'm gonna leave this locked currently, and I'm gonna change the eyes to a bright red. Once you have created the colors that you would like, go ahead and select export. It is very likely that Google will find this file suspicious, so you will have to specifically approve the download. When you download the file, it should automatically be named character.chf. Go ahead and move this file into the Star Citizen Character Customization folder where you had originally saved your character. All you need to do at this point is get back to the Character Customizer, go ahead and select the Load and Save button at the bottom, and select the character folder that we had downloaded from the website. Select load to activate it. We could go to review and hit accept. And if we load into the game, you'll see that this does indeed work. If you found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. We are currently on our journey to 1000 subscribers. And for now adventurers, bye bye